what's up guys and it's all begin Huawei P40, P40 Pro and P40 Pro Plus went official recently. It is arguably the best camera phone out there and also performing well on battery drain test despite having an every size battery but it seems like no google thing still hurting its sales. Despite all the big issues they are facing, they are still baking its next big cake for you guys with their very promising features behind the scenes. Yes, I'm talking about the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Recently we saw the patent design of next big thing from Huawei, but now analyst Ming Shiku first time came in Huawei's party. He is best known for his accurate Apple leaks. He told his investors about the iPhone 9 two years ago and just a couple of days ago it went official. And now his latest note to investors focuses solely on the Huawei Mate 40 series. As we all know, Huawei has always pushed the limits of smartphone photography and with the recently announced P40 series, they made a huge leap by not just upgrading the sensor but also industry leading camera modules and a very great softer and it looks like Mate 40 won't disappoint either. Ming Shiku believes Huawei is researching the idea of adopting a freeform lens on the Mate 40 series rather than relying on upgraded image sensors. If it really happens, that would be a pretty groundbreaking because the tech has never been used on a smartphone camera before. Now what exactly is the freeform lens? So it's a freeform optical refractive surface that are defined by complex mathematical equations allowing radical and unique light bending capability. Or in short terms, freeform lens is essentially an advanced manufacturing process backed up by complex mathematical equations that enable superior light refracting capabilities. It will reduce wide angle distortion to a minimum, improve the sharpness of vision and can also improve low light performance. So improvements like ultra wide angle with minimum distortion, low light mode and sharpness of overall image is expected on the Huawei Mate 40 series. Now along with the camera improvements, Ming Shiku has also hinted about the next flagship chip from Huawei which according to him is going to be called Kirin 1020. You guys remember almost 2 years ago or maybe 2.5 years ago, I made a video on the Huawei Kirin 1020 chipset and now in 2020, it is becoming true. So as we know, the next flagship chip from Huawei is going to be the first chip in the world with a 5 nanometer process node. Kirin 990 and Kirin 980 was based on 7 nanometer process architecture and with the introduction of 5 nanometer, Huawei will kick off the new chapter of smartphone powers. We are already at this stage where we didn't see any major difference compared to last year's flagship but 5 nanometer will bring a lot of serious gains. And it's not just Huawei, Google is also investing heavily into 5 nanometer to finally come back in the great flagship market. The more detailed video will be coming soon of Samsung and Google's partnership to compete with Apple's A series of processor and Qualcomm's dominance in the Android world. Now coming back to the Huawei's current 1020 chipset, so it is expected to have the all 8 cores from ARM despite the US ban on Huawei and most importantly it could bring the newly announced core Cortex A78 cores in the current 1020 processor. Now Huawei is also improving its app gallery a lot and the Mate 40 is expected to finally arrive with the Huawei's Harmony OS. We don't have any confirmation yet on this thing so make sure to subscribe for all the Huawei updates and do let me know what you guys think of Huawei's Mate 40 and its free from lens. Will it actually be beneficial? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one.